checklist is to shop for foods proven to help you stay beautiful. And they include cottage cheese, easy to find that, cod, beef, low fat, and mangoes. Each has a very specific role in helping your body. All you have to do to win the grand prize is step back to this magnetic board and identify just right there, you know, okay. and, and take each of these and place it where you want them to be. Hmm. So cod, what do you guys think? Yeah. You like cod yeah. to the eye? Cheese. <coughs> Ooh, cod <cottage> cheese. <laughs> Lean beef. Yeah. All right, now come on over here. Uh, now, you, now you have to get graded. Uh oh. Now you have to get graded. Dr. Royzen, what do you think? Well, she did pretty good. This is two out of four isn't bad. It's 50 percentile. Uh -huh. uh, 50 percentile. So, cod really is for the skin. It's got a lot of selenium, which helps protect you from sunburn. So, it's really good for that. Cottage cheese, you got right. It's for the hair, it's got protein. Mango, you got perfect. It is for the teeth and it prevents periodontal disease. Now, lean beef, they really made hard for you because they didn't put what it goes with here. It's like, you know, the producer decided we're going to make sure you can't get this right. Right? No fair. So this goes on the nails because lean beef has iron in it, which helps your nails. So I'd say this is pretty darn good. What do you think, Mama? I, I, I'm proud of you. And by the way, you know these are obviously larger serving sizes than you have to have, but it's a very rational, easy thing you can adjust it to your diet. So it's step number one, the day number one of our anti-aging plan. Thank you very much, Dad. Thank you. All right, now let's join Ruth. Come on over, Ruth. There you are. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Okay, yeah. next item on my seven-day anti-aging checklist is for Monday, start of the week. They're often busy. You need to get into a routine. We're going to start off with supplements. Now, let's talk about the core vitamins that everyone ought to be on in America. Well, you see, there are just five, five packages, if you will. Vitamin D3 that helps prevent heart disease, prevent cancer. It turns on the gene that is a proofreader gene that helps you get rid of abnormal DNA. DHA, this is important for your eyes. Now, DHA is a kind of omega-3 fat, by the way. So okay. people have heard of other terms, but that's the exact kind of omega-3 you want. Okay. Right, and it's, it helps prevent um, heart disease as well. Okay. Um, this is calcium. So calcium is important for incorporation into bone, making bones stronger. And then the other thing you want today is a multivitamin. Now, these got to be taken twice a day. Because if you take these all at once, you don't absorb enough of them. Okay, I'll Fair do enough. that from now on. Thank you very yes. much. Thank Stay you. Fun. All right. All right, let's join Beth. How are you? How are you doing? All right, so here's the deal. The next item on my seven-day anti-aging program is for Tuesday. It's very simple, but did you know, Beth, that Tuesday is the most stressful day of the week? No. Did not know that. So if you think about the middle of the day on Tuesday is a real stressful day, I want to give you some tips to bust stress. Because it's not the stress you feel, it's how you deal with it. And there's some alternative therapies that work pretty well because they've been around for thousands of years because people have had stress for thousands of years. And there's an ancient Chinese move. Do you like ancient Chinese remedies? Yeah, yes. All right, we're going to try one now. <laughs> this is called gushing spring. You can't, need, you know, you can't beat time. It's an acupressure point on the bottom of the foot. So take your shoes off. Okay. You just sit there, sit there. Okay. You're more comfortable. He'll take them off. Yeah, we got okay. Cinderella here. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the, the gushing spring is based on this bottom part of the foot, the little arch here. So what you're going to do is rub this heel against that part of your foot. Rub there. Okay. How's right. it feel? And then rub this here. I guess it feels good. Guess it feels good. Uh -huh. It's the best I can do. Right. <laughs> right. And then back here a little again. more enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> now here's the thing. That you do, if you do this on your own, and mm -hmm. people can't even tell you're doing it because you're sitting at work, it'll relieve stress. Now, does anyone ever do this to you? No. I don't know. Where's your husband? Where's, where's your man? <laughs> Not married. Not married. All right. <laughs> There you go, I'll put this back on. Listen, but those are simple techniques, but the big takeaway message is to deal with stress in your life is not a matter of getting rid of stress. It's a matter of learning better ways of coping for it. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, come on over. Let's join Dure for our next item. Hey, Dure, how are you? I can do it. Yes, you can do it. How are you? Thank you. Come have a seat over here. So, here's the deal, Dure. We're up to Wednesday. Right, we're going through the seven-day checklist, and on Wednesday, we got to deal with one reality, which is we always are sitting. And the number one thing that will kill you, will make you old before your time, is frailty. 
20% of people who fracture a hip, which is a very common way the frailty presents, are dead in a year. Oh dear. Yeah. And if you have a hip fracture, the chance of you dying in five years is a lot higher than if you don't have the problem. So Dr. Royce, walk us through why things like sitting are so detrimental to us. Well, first of all, you're sitting right, and this is a great chair, an ergonomic chair is good, but every two hours of sitting increases your risk of type 2 diabetes by 7% and your risk of heart disease by 25%. Some exercises you can do, just fidgeting is good, but the best is... We'll do it together, right? So stand up. Don't use your arms. Ah, I caught you. This, when people stand up, they go like this, right? That, that doesn't exercise the core muscles, that, the hips, the thighs, the buttocks area. You want your buttocks to look good, right? Of course. Good. So, so <laughs> no hands up. Now, when, pretend that this seat behind me, this chair, is actually a toilet stool, okay? So you're about to sit down. And how do you, how do you sit down? <laughs> right? Daintily, right? Right? And then back up again. Very good. And then down. You go back up, right? <laughs> That's the fundamental array that we can actually build up course with. You know, do 10 of those in a row, slowly build it up. It's a remarkably effective workout and it's dirt cheap because it's free, right? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's join Natalie. Hi, Natalie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Now, the next item on my seven day anti aging checklist is for Thursday, going right through the week. And you know what? I want you to try a cocktail for longevity. Okay. It's a breakfast blaster. We actually make it in the Oz household. It's super easy to make and you can make lots of it at once. So if you've got kids, just dole it out as you make it. So, Simple recipe, I'll put it right up there behind you. Start off with bananas, okay. can't get away from them. Easy to, kids like them. My kids you, love them. Don't you? Love Blue blueberries, you know why? Because it's purple. Kids like things that are purple. You need a little bit of protein, soy protein gets you there. These are the amounts, by the way. Some honey, gotta love honey. So I'm good at making this. And then, go ahead and toss it in there. Those are some, uh, some psyllium husks, gives us some fiber, so people are comfortable when they go to the bathroom. And then finally, guess what that is? Oil? Yes, it's good, <laughs> but it's a special kind of oil. It's flaxseed oil, right? Okay. Put that all in there, right? Now, the kids can't tell it's in there. That's the whole secret. They can't tell what it's in there. This is all about marketing, by the way. If you convince the kids, oh, thank you, Mike, add the water, and then, then there you go, do, do these. We'll just mix this up more quick. Da 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 da. Now, it's taking me almost full time. Juliano's, plus high. Yeah. All right, that's it. And we're done. Now, if I can make it that quickly, we can all do it. Now, taste, tell me what you think. This is how I usually taste it. <laughs> that it's is good. good. Mm. It tastes banana. Yeah, you taste the banana, the blueberries. You know what? The kids see this color. If I put a little ice in it, usually, they can't tell that it's got healthy stuff in it. They think it's bad for them, so they drink it immediately. You try it out. It's almost a milkshake. Exactly. Thank you very much, Natalie. I appreciate it. All right, let's join Candace. Come on over here, Candace. Hi. Thanks for joining us. So the, the next task in my seven-day anti-aging checklist is for Friday. Guess what? The next task is to email or call, and you can use this or any other tool you've got, three friends on Fridays. Okay. Why is that important, Mike? Contacts are incredibly important. They help relieve stress, and staying in touch helps give you a purpose in life and helps someone else be accountable and you be accountable to them for yourself. Okay. Thanks, Candace. Thank Appreciate you. it. Now let's join Terry over here. Well, thank you very much for joining us. It's the last day of our big play, okay? okay. So it's yeah. been a seven-day anti-aging checklist. It's now up to Saturday. And what we're going to do is save the best for last and talk to you about two important goals that you're going to have for today. Okay. The first one, you're going to have to work hard on this, okay. is to have sex. Oh. Can you do that? Russ, I hope you're watching, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> Russ, pay attention. Here's the deal. The average uh, at the times that we're intimate with the people we love okay. in America is once a week. Oh, if we can take yeah. that to twice a week, we will shave two to three years off our real age. We'll live that much longer. It's a pretty good dividend, right? Yeah, I think I can and there was pull a that off. You can do that, right? Maybe. <laughs> For us, pay attention. Now, yes. the Queen's University study that we're talking about actually looked at, at people who cut uh, their or changed their sex life by mm -hmm. adding the normal of once a week to three times a week, and guess what? They cut the risk of a heart attack by a half. Wow. It's a dramatic change. The same. Reality, by the way, although that was studied in men, is mm -hmm. probably true in women. Okay. But we suspect that for women, it's not the quantity, it's the quality. Yes. Does that sound right? That sounds absolutely right. right. Russ, pay attention, Russ. Russ, this is for you. I, I hope Russ is listening. <laughs> it reduces pain, reduces stress, it helps the immune system. Okay. It boosts one of these uh, immunoglobulins called IgA, which is important for defending us uh, against okay. the outside world. We find that a lot in our gut and in our lungs. These are all the ways that we can feel healthier on the inside that sex naturally gives us. In okay. the, independent of the fact that you actually burn off some calories depending on how long absolutely. you go at it. How long do you go at it usually? <laughs> 
people watching. Oh, is Russ watching? I Russ hope. better be watching. He better be taking notes. <laughs> All right, Mike. Now, we, we brought the bet out to remind me to talk about sex, but the real reason we brought okay. the bet out was for what I think is the most important anti-aging secret that you're going to learn about today, mm -hmm. which is sleep and how yes. to get more of it. Why is that important, Mike? The key point is to try and sleep towards that seven and a half or eight hours because the longer you sleep, mm -hmm. it's at the end of sleep that is key for releasing hormones and for regenerating your brain function. So if you sleep six hours rather than seven and a half, mm -hmm. you'll crave more sugar and that's not good for you, no, obviously. So lie down here for a second. Okay. I got a little experiment for you. All right. Because I've got a special prize here. This okay. is a pillow. So just lay, lie down on, there. Yep. Just lie down. Okay. okay. What do you think about that pillow? It's a different kind of pillow. It, it's, does it have, it has like, it feels like it has something inside of it. Yep. It's, it's not. That, it's made from buckwheat. Oh, wow. Yep. It's, you see, this is buckwheat down here. And so it's got a little bit of a mold to it, so it'll cushion okay. you. I, I feel it. Right? I feel it. It doesn't squinch up the way feathered it's pillows exactly, sometimes do. No, it doesn't. So it's, it's actually comfortable. rather comfortable. Yes, right. And if you don't like it, you can use it in that magic drink. Just pour it right in there. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for joining Thank us, Gary. Thank you so much. <laughs> For Dr. Rose and all my guests, I want to thank you very much. You can go to DrRoz.com for my complete anti-aging checklist. Now, up next, you won't want to miss this, three anti-agers you need in your purse today. Stay with us.